Once we've let it chill overnight, we check to see if it's firmed up enough. If it is, we remove the pipes. After that, we loosen the bolts holding the lid in place. That's right. Then we blow air between the walls of the mold and the pudding itself. Next, release internal lock! When the pudding is completely free of the mold, we carefully shore up the sides with softened gelatin and auger to add just a bit more firmness. Then we top it off with a caramel sauce and lightly brulee the top. <laughs> Wow, that sure looks delicious. You completely forget there's a bomb planted in there. And with that, Kayano's gigantic killer pudding was ready to be served. <sighs> and and I'm allowed to eat this entire thing? Oh, uh, sure. I just didn't want those eggs going to some landfill. This was all Kayano's idea, you know. <laughs> <sighs> You made me so happy. We better get going. <laughs> yeah, don't want to be late for English. Now you've got a promise to eat every last bite. Not a problem. <laughs> At last, my dreams come true. Thank you. Come on, we'll watch the detonation from inside. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> wow, he's really getting after it. I have a feeling it won't be very long till he reaches the bottom. Don't worry. I've installed a security camera into the base. I'm keeping my eye on it. The second he reaches the bomb, we'll detonate it by remote control. We'll know he's eaten his way to it once the light starts pouring in. My pudding. It'll be... 